Okay, uh, welcome. This is episode 281 of the Clive Barker podcast. Uh, cult. Uh, it's uh, the second part of our Cult Divinity Lost game, which hey. was pretty fun. Oh, and yeah. speaking speaking of that, the book finally came in the mail. Nice. Yeah, so we can Look open it up. An unboxing live on BarkerCast. Yeah. It says PDF included. Okay. So yeah, there must got, be a code. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is a fancy looking book. It is a fancy looking book, yeah. I see the. Wow, look at that. It's got that angel looking thing in the front. Yeah. It's a big hardcover, and it's got the new book smell. Mm. Yeah, I love the artwork too. Uh, Brant had loaned me because he had the original, the 93 book. And the art right. was the art on the, this one is so much better than than on that old '90s book. Which he got the original cult book from uh, uh, a place where people go to dump stuff, and other people go there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, anybody who lives outside of the city limits, which is most of Fairbanks, there is a mm -hmm. community transfer site where you can you can the, the, your taxes pay for being able to dump stuff for free. And there's a free section where you can put stuff oh. and that you don't want anymore. Like a flea but some, market, but it's not really a flea market because people just put stuff there for free. Yeah, yeah. We just put our, we did, we got just got a new couch and we put our old couch out there. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, this is awesome. I'm excited about that. And I'm hoping that we can play this game again. Uh, I talked a little bit to Mitchell about maybe doing it again in the future. Probably not till next year, but uh, I think it would I'm be good fun. For it. Yeah, have, yeah, yeah. They me have too. Really good uh, scenes written down. I think the one that uh, the writer that came up with La Cena, which means a dinner, yeah. for our particular scene, was a lady called Jacqueline. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah, she did a great job. That was a really neat. Uh, it was a neat backdrop that I would not have expected. I yeah. didn't didn't expect it all. It's like, oh, this takes place in 1967. Yeah. But yeah, so well, actually, I and I get without realizing that I was going to be the patriarch of the entire family. Well, and I think, I think none of the characters were like perfect either. There weren't any that were like your ideal person that you'd want to be. Yeah. My guy, my guy was kind of, uh, was kind of jealous and and weak. You were but, the, the the brother that resents the prodigal brother. Yeah, prodigal exactly. Son. Yep, and he was kind of on top as long as his brother was out. And you're a but, doctor, though. I mean, you're a doctor. I mean, you're I, so well, he, a doctor. Yeah. And people get you crap about it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yep. Um, but yeah, where we left off, it's 1967. Uh, the Cruz family, having moved from Cuba to Florida picked up their missing family member Eduardo from the airport and mm -hmm. uh, one by one we all kind of started to notice that things weren't quite right with Eduardo uh, the twins yeah. lost their psychic connection to each other and they were getting headaches when they were around him uh, Anton who I played uh, noticed that that Eduardo didn't seem to have aged at all he was exactly the same age when they le as when they left um, the twins had kind of once everybody got home the twins had sort of separated off to sneak into Eduardo's guest room and look and kind of rifle through his stuff and try to investigate him and uh, one of them yes, the brothers too, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah one of them uh, Learco got uh, he got trapped under the bed when Eduardo came in and he had to just kind of hide there under the bed uh, right. and then and Bridget was playing the uh, lookout in the hallway yeah. R Ramira, yeah, yeah Ram the oh, twin yeah. sister Ramira, yeah, yeah, and he so he was really creepy with her, and then yeah. uh, and then uh, and then my character um, Anton came over and said, "Hey, let's go get a drink," and got finally got Eduardo out of the room. So you'd think, okay, now uh, now Learco can get out of the room because Eduardo's gone, but he felt someone else sit down on the bed. Yeah. And that was where we left off. So that's where we're gonna. That's where where we're gonna pick up now. 
And my character, Raphael, is watching something on TV, smoking a big Cuban cigar. Yeah, yeah, he was he, watching I Love he, Lucy. He was watching like I Love Lucy and yelling at yeah. the TV. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And, One of uh, these days. Yeah, and 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 uh, they have right to the moon. Yeah, and Anna, the wife, uh, came out uh, just to kind of give people a hard time and be drunk. Yeah, we didn't have a Anna, so the uh, Mitchell Wallace, the 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 dungeon master, or yeah. what's GM. the good name for that? The GM. Yeah, it's yeah. GM if it's not Dungeons and Dragons for. He game was master. playing both. He was playing both Eduardo and Anna. Yeah, yeah. He did a great job. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, the cast, we had Mitchell playing Eduardo and Anna, like you said. Uh, Jose, you were Raphael, the the uh, patriarch, who was difficult to get along with, but in the end actually learned the most out of everybody about what was going on in the world. I, I keep getting drunk and smoking. I don't know where that comes from. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I was Anton, the younger brother who was in medical school, and the, his mother resented it him living at home you know going to college felt like it he was just a uh he was just a bum you know not earning his own keep a bum studying to be a doctor <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah um and catalina uh from little spark films she played soul the the little uh the little seven-year-old um who turned out to be our uh, half sister that we didn't know about because raul had had an affair with uh, Anna's sister, Novia. Raphael. Yeah. Raphael yeah, no. had to uh, with, uh, yeah. Yeah, what did I call you? He said Raul. Oh, Ra yeah, that's confusing because Raul, our friend, played Novia. Right. Yeah. Who's been helping us with the book. So yes. Raul, thank you so much for helping yeah. us with the book. He did a bunch of transcriptions, which was awesome. Yeah. Uh, and then a friend of mine that I work with and, and that I play D&D uh, &D with, Brant, and his wife, Bridget, uh, they played the twins, uh, Learco and Ramira. I think, That's right. I think so. Learco was the boldest out of all the characters in, the, in, the, in this game. He was a fairly bold player. Um, his character <laughs> yeah. kept getting himself into things. He was the first to jump into battle. He would yeah. like, sneak into rooms and check the luggage. He would do all sorts of things. Yeah. He was very adventurous. Is he like that in your usual D and D games? Yeah, yeah. Actually, we just yeah. had a we just had a game with him. He we invited him into our our family game, and mm -hmm. he kind of he he had just he had was playing a necromancer, and he decided to summon a devil to find out all of this, these diabolical plots that were happening yeah. and in one day he figured out what uh, the rest of whatever nobody else figured out in the last like three years we've been playing this game that makes sense yeah it's like oh we'll just ask him yeah just raise <laughs> yeah. him from the dead and ask him yeah yeah so anyway but uh here it is cult divinity lost part two yeah, uh, Lier, so you feel the weight of something uh, pressing down on the bed, the kind of uh, the spring underneath it kind of sags, um, getting a little bit really close to you. Like normally there, there's only like a, a foot uh, between the, the springs and the, the carpet, uh, but now it's kind of like half of it as part of it's kind of brushing against your face and your your body. Very claustrophobic. You can smell the body sweat of hundreds of people who've used this guest room before. I just want to breathe as shallowly as possible, possible and, and try, try to, to reach out with my mother and my sister. sister. Nothing. You are utterly, unequivocally alone in this. Well, well um, guess, guess I'm, I'm in for the long, long haul. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. All right, uh, Anton, what are you up to? Uh, I wanted to go check on Eduardo. <laughs> yeah, you go over. I mean, I, I <laughs> Ramira, are you very, here? very welcome in the kitchen? So yeah, Ramira, are you still uh, in the hallway? Yeah. So I see Anton approaching and try to make it look like I hadn't been hovering. I was just walking, and I'll just kind of say. Oh, hello, and then walk past him. How's everything going? <laughs> everything is going well. I 
Um, ooh, I think it's this heat today. I just haven't been feeling quite myself. Is, is Eduardo in his room? Yes, yeah, he's in his room. He was- All alone. All, all alone, <laughs> yeah. I just, I just offered to get him some iced tea, but he's being quite, he doesn't seem like himself. He was very uh, short with me. Should I check on him? I I think that would be a great idea. He didn't he didn't want me in his room, but maybe 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 you would um, have a better luck. I'll I'll knock on the door. Um, yeah, so you feel the the weight lift off of you as uh, you see the <laughs> shoes moving towards the door. Uh, it creaks open, and Anton, you can see Eduardo uh, peeking through the crack. Yes. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. Is that how you choose to greet me? You're muted. All right. So, Eduardo, how are you doing? Uh, Más o menos. It was a long flight. Uh, I'm tired. I'm trying to get some sleep, but uh, it just feels like every family member keeps uh, preventing that. Well, we haven't seen you in years. Yeah, but it was a long flight. Funny, you look exactly the same as you did when (laughs) I saw you last. I believe you mentioned that before. Mm. Is there anything you want to do with that information? No. Um, all right. Uh, is anything uh, Anything I can do for you? I mean, I think, I don't know if it's t- a good time to take a nap. I think dinner's going to be ready soon. Would you like to do something, brother? W- what do you have in mind? Could you get a drink or something? Yeah. You want to come back to the kitchen with me? We could get a drink. If I recall, it's really not our place to be in the kitchen, but I think we can have drinks brought to us, if my memory serves me right. Hmm. Am I within earshot of this conversation? Uh, No, you're you're, you're over there in the living room. You're probably watching. Yeah, yeah. You should research what you're watching. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what was on TV at that point in time. I'm, I'm probably smoking a, a cigar. Oh, uh, yeah. The sitting in my it's... chair, waiting, <laughs> looking at uh, Saul playing around and uh, just, uh, okay. Complaining about I Love Lucy. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> no, it doesn't actually represent Cubans. Yeah. <laughs> show is One of these days. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> One of these days. Your cigar. <sighs> Uh, yeah, let, let's go, Anton. All right. Uh, and Eduardo will, will come out with you and close the door uh, behind him and, and follow you down the hallway uh, to get a refreshing drink. Liersol, the door closes, and you once again feel that weight upon the bed, kind of sinking down, pressing against your face. Didn't he leave? You did hear footsteps in the conversation that did make you believe as such. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I, if it feels like there's somebody in the bed, I'm not going to move. So as I'd been sort of lingering down the hallway, did I see them pass? Yeah, yeah. You see Anton and Eduardo heading uh, to the living room. I was just like admiring some frame in the hallway. <laughs> as soon as I get a chance, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and open the door. Well, your your hand reaches out for that doorknob, uh, hoping to turn it, but it does not turn. It appears to be locked. 
Uh, and later, so you hear kind of the jiggling of the doorknob. Oh, where's the worst? Like, like all, all the horror, horror movies. I guess I'm uh, going to look for. I know that some types of doors you can stick something in the jam and open them. So I'm going to go look for an item with which to. Yeah, yeah they have that. You know the was it those little hook lock things where you just put into the little hole and you you twist it. Uh, so you, you go off in search of this for Lier, so you feel the bed above you start to shift a little bit as if the person is leaning uh, off the side of one of the sides of the bed. Uh, the creaking above you is kind of rough, uh, echoes in your ear. Uh, I, I want, want to, to slither, slither out from, from under the bed and stand up indignantly. And if there's somebody on the bed i wonder you know what are you doing in my house you slither out uh the carpet kind of mashing against your face as you uh get up um but there's nothing on the bed can i feel it like put my hand on the bed yeah, you touch it feel it it's it's nothing there all right i'm getting out of the room quietly and quickly as possible yeah you you grab the the doorknob open it up you see ramira kind of coming back with a little unlocking tool <laughs> huh, and we'll escape her off to our rooms where i'm going to tell her the whole thing yeah what do you say there was something else in the room with me after eduardo had left, left he's not alone, alone. What do you mean there was something? Did you see anything? I didn't, I didn't see, see anything, anything, but something, something else was sitting on the bed. bed. Oh, this can't be good. Maybe that explains the, um, yeah, why we can't talk to each other. It might explain something. I think it's more questions than answers, but we'll, I guess we'll see at dinner. Excellent. So, Raphael is enjoying I Love Lucy uh, in the loosest of senses. Soul is playing around, it sounds like, by yourself. So I'm getting a little impatient about food, and uh, I, uh, I, I bellow out to the kitchen. So uh, are we going to have to wait long for the food? Nobia? Uh, no, sir. Yes, you just need to be a, a bit patient because um, the dinner will be in a while. So you you could eat all you all what you want. <laughs> okay. All right. Well. Uh... Yes, I'll offer Raphael some some of my fruit. Oh, thank you, Saul. Thank you, Saul. You're a very cute. You're a very smart little girl. I I, I like you very much. You've been a very good girl tonight. Thanks, Papa. <laughs> Excellent. Well, so we're going to man. hop over to 6 p.m. where dinner is here. It is time to eat. Everyone has uh, gotten dressed up more or less uh, for this uh, occasion. Raphael uh, sits at the head of the table. Uh, the seat for Anna is left empty to his right. Um, where's everyone else sitting? I'm sitting at the head of the table. I'm assuming the table is a rectangle. So I will oh, yeah. sit on the end, either on the right hand or left hand side. Well, probably the left, I guess since I'm the youngest. I'm just excited for food. <laughs> Novia doesn't really have a place to sit. Um, oh, well, maybe I'm just standing, um, waiting to receive orders or waiting to everyone to be on the table and to start the, the uh, to serve the course. Yeah. I tell yeah, Eduardo I'll... to sit at the other end of the table. He'll sit there. And I'll sit next to so Soul across from my twin sister. Uh, 
And Anton, where are you sitting? Uh, two seats down from uh, from Raphael. Everyone. I don't want to sit right next to him. Yeah. Okay, so there's like Anna's empty chair between us. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the plate or the the dishes are, are right where Anna should be. You know, all the plates and the forks and everything are nicely ready. Uh, and yeah, now is time for the first uh, serving. Uh, Novia, uh, did you want to go ahead and describe what you have? They have the. Uh, uh, kind of what it is, but I don't know if you want to add to it. Yes. Um, well, we have uh, a really long menu for this special night. We have uh, seven dishes, and we will start with the shrimp cocktail. So uh, I guess I can start uh, serving uh, this particular dish. This is amazing, Novia. Good job. Thank you. Hey, before we start, we all need to say grace. This we again. We don't start eating food before we say grace in this house. I remain silent and I start serving the dishes. I say, I, I put my hands together and I say, thank you, Lord, for the food we're about to receive. Thank you for all the boons that we have gotten after we left that Godforsaken Cuba place, and uh, and I'm glad that we all have gotten together tonight. And uh, I hope that people will come to their senses and uh, do the right thing. All right, let's eat. Well, uh, Grace is going on. I want to sneak shrimp out of Soul's uh, shrimp cocktail. <laughs> yeah, so Soul, when you <laughs> go ahead. I don't want it though. It looks yucky. You look like bugs. But you like said you were, you were hungry, remember, Soul? It's all right. You can eat it. I'm it's good. Eating bugs. They're still alive. You eat them. They're going to bite you if you eat them. That's the Ew. best part. Don't listen to him. They're not alive. I don't want it. Do we have to do this every time we have dinner? Really? Liarco, stop teasing When was your the sister? last time you were at dinner, Papa? Last night? <laughs> You were there. You should know. How is Eduardo dressed? Uh, he doesn't have a tie on, but he has a, a nice button up uh, with khakis on. Yeah. Okay. You know, Eduardo, you should have dressed up a little more for this uh, this family. Uh... It's fine. He's fine. Hmm. Okay. I guess I could have put a little bit more effort. Uh, coming in, no tie, no nothing. You look like a communist. <laughs> What's a communist? Yeah, uh, what does that mean? Papa, what, well, how do you feel about the new regime? I think I, uh, I miss Batista, but I'm very happy because I've managed to provide for my family after moving to this new country. And... Uh, Cuba, there's no future there. I don't know why you stayed behind. I, I have no idea what you're trying to, what you tried to thought you were going to accomplish there. But uh, I, I'm glad you came to your senses and you came uh, to this country now. It's, he's only been here for a few hours. It's all right. He can tell us about it later. All right. Okay, maybe I should be uh, start serving the, um, the second dish just to keep everyone quiet and uh, silent <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and maybe that brings some peace to the table so i will start now serving the sopa de ajo so i think it well i will remain silent <laughs> and i will keep uh, serving the soup to everyone okay so, uh, Nobia, you can take all this shrimp cocktail leftovers away and, uh, you know, just bring bring the garlic soup. So. Okay, sir. As you wish. Uh, Papa, have you know Novia? Well, she she used to uh, she she uh, used to live uh, in a different house, but uh, she lost her house, and we took her in. So. Uh, yeah, she, she now she works for us, and she she lives here. And so, who 
soul kind of looks familiar um uh soul soul is uh papa yeah she's she's I'm, she's my daughter i'm your sister eduardo why, why are you why would you say something like that to your to your <laughs> sister is anna your mother yeah huh she's the only mother i know so how are you things going in school what what are you doing in school these days it's very fun um i love my tutoring and i love playing the piano can i play the piano later she is very good playing the piano you should listen to your sister and uh she she's a very smart girl she's uh she 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 takes up after me hmm and anna right yes of course I uh, I want a drink. Can I can I get a drink? Uh, Novia, bring me a drink. Yes, sir. Uh, what kind of drink uh, or what kind of wine do you prefer now? I, uh, whiskey, whiskey. I want some whiskey. Okay, okay, whiskey. I will go now. And there's like this awkward silence as the drink is being poured. Mister Passive Aggressive. 20 uh, questions over there. Uh, I scold uh, Ramira for slurping her soup. I say, Ramira, stop slurping your soup and sit up straight. Why are you fidgeting so much today? What's going on with you guys? What are you what guys, guys, what are you guys, guys up, up to lately? lately? Sure wishing I had some wine right now. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, just Crap. trying to greet our brother Eduardo and what about, what about it, Papa? Papa? It's, it's a celebration. celebration. We're old enough. We should have a glass of wine. You guys are too young. This is a free wine. country, after all. Don't be snippy at me, young man. You're too young to have wine. Can I, I bet they would wine? let me have wine in Cuba. Well, we're not in Cuba anymore, are we? You can also take people's money and take people's houses in Cuba. Is that what you want to do with your life? Gonna glower. Uh, Anton, um, you're studying to become a doctor. Yes, yes. Uh, it's it's been going pretty well. You know, making something of my life, getting an education. How long do you have left until you've completed your studies? Just uh, another year or so. How long have you been pursuing your studies? In a couple of years, you know, it, it takes time. It's it's a it's hard classes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what have you been up to all this time? Fighting a revolution, I guess. Yeah, you and your revolutionary buddies, huh? I don't want any talk about that in my house. This at this house, we're capitalists and we live in America, and we support Batista. And if you don't like that, you can just you can just get out of here. I have no qualms with it. I just was telling my brother what I had been up to the last couple of years. Novia, where is my whiskey? Yes, here. Wait, yes, I'm uh, yes gathering everything. I need to uh, take everything that is in the table because we are still. Uh, I'm still uh, uh, taking the first dish. From I don't want to hear excuses. So, I just want okay. my whiskey. Okay, as you wish. Hey, no, no, it's fine. She's just trying to help. Thank you, Novia. Uh, I will help. I'll help. I want to help clear the table. <laughs> and and when, I start uh, smoking a big kitchen, cigar. When I'm in the kitchen, I want to sneak some wine. Just chug it right out of the bottle. That is totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you hear from uh, Eduardo asking Anton... Um, so who who pays for your college? Who do you think pays for college? I provide for this family. Uh, yeah, what are you getting at? Nothing. There. I was just curious if you made your own way or you accepted funds from Papa. 
And uh, what did you do for a living all this time? Worked. Oh, yeah? What, what, what was your job? I did some farming, um, cleaning, whatever I could get by on. Whatever puts food on the table, so to speak. So f- finally, Exciting. I'm sa- sa- serving the, the whiskey to uh, Rafael. <laughs> And uh, maybe, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, sir. Anyway, I'm. I guess I will start serving the third dish. Maybe it's time. So uh, I will start uh, um, taking um, from the table the soup, which uh, I think everyone has already finished, right? Uh, <laughs> Finish your <laughs> okay. soup. It's dessert. Yeah, it's really like it's really three adults you have to worry about. The kids like this. Who cares? So while I'm in the kitchen, I want to get not clear glasses or like cups, like a mug, and put wine, (laughs) two servings of wine in it after I chugged one. And when I come back out, kind of slip it to my sister. You're my troubled child, aren't you? (laughs) I'm wondering what uh, Layarco and Ramiro have. And I'm just going to kind of steal that. <laughs> the kids are drinking. My sister. I remain oblivious. <laughs> I'm having my whiskey. Okay, we're, I hate this rabbit food, this, this, this crap. I'm just going to, I'm just going to keep demanding more wine. I, more wine and, uh, more wine and whiskey for me. I'm, I'm smoking a big cigar at the table. I don't care what anybody else thinks. So uh, I guess I'm so, yeah. Oh, well, uh, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. What rabbit food? Did we get that rabbit food? Yeah, see the salad. salad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I'm so nervous that uh, I drop a spoon uh, and it uh, makes a big noise in the floor. And uh, of course, I'm doing everything at the same time. So I'm, uh, I don't know really what I'm doing now. I'm still serving the C- uh, Cesar salad. Uh, but uh, anyway, I, I keep working. What are you doing there, Novia? Don't you know how to serve a, a salad? I, you know, go back into the kitchen if, once you're done and stay there. Everybody drops something once in a while. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. I mean, I think it's fine. Yeah, you dropped out of school at one time, and I had to force you to go back into it. Otherwise, you'd be just as useless as your brother. I did. You didn't. I I, I went to school on my own. It was my decision. <laughs> yeah, right. Sometimes yeah. your mother is right. You should, you should be more independent. But, you know, if I don't keep an eye on you, you're going to turn out like your brother. Fine. I'm not yeah. a farmer. So uh, as you're looking around, uh, you notice that there's a slight uh, movement on Eduardo's neck and face, almost as if there's a maggot or some sort of roach crawling right underneath his skin, uh, moving up over his face and then kind of just past his eye. I'm going to go, what was that? And jump up. Oh, this is only Saul. This is only Saul. Oh, okay. Never mind. I don't, I don't do that. If I try really hard, can I see what's going on inside his mind? Yeah, you can. You want to do a move? Uh, yeah. Telepathy. Roll your soul. Wow. Soul. So this is the soul? Uh Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I got a six. And then I guess the plus three, so a nine. So I (laughs) failed horrifically all right you still get to choose one option uh you have that to the right of the character sheet which one did you want um i'm gonna ask what your thoughts are on dinner and uh, how you feel being back 
Uh, so kind of rifling through the mind, uh, you feel normally you've kind of op- usually open up a one way street. Uh, you feel as if it's a two-way street, though. Um, if you ever felt a spider on you while sleeping, it very much feels like that, except for upon your mind. Um, there is a slight bit of fear uh, towards you uh, because it seems like you can see things that others cannot. Um, there is a very different quality to his mind as well, a sort of uh, malevolence that is right now aimed at you. And as you're kind of searching through his thoughts, you see both of his eyes kind of move towards you, uh, almost a, a quiet anger behind them. I guess I'm just gonna stare into my into my food because I don't know what to do, um, and hope that 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 feeling just goes away. Yeah, oh, you I... feel a hand upon your shoulder, <laughs> looking kind of. Uh, I assume looking back, uh, you see um, kind of this uh, old feet hanging. Uh, addressed, kind of connected to it, uh, rising above. Um, you can look up if you want, but the toenails are dark and black, cracked in some places, a little bit of blood dripping from them. Uh, can, can I be excused for the restroom? Uh, sure. Uh, Novia, take soul to the restroom. Yes, sure, I will do it. So uh, I guess I take Sol with me. Uh, we walk out the room, and um, because I feel that Sol is distressed, I ask her what uh, what happens. Well, Sol, what's happening? Are you okay? Do you feel right? Yeah, is this this all the food? Do do we have anything that's that that I like to eat? Like, can I have some chips or some? Like an egg or some cheese. I've yes, honey. Not I, well. I, I will, uh, I will go to the kitchen, and uh, I will see if there's something for you. Don't worry. So I will go to the restroom and try to compose myself. Take deep breaths, um, and formulate a plan ground myself, um, maybe won't try to get into Eduardo's mind again, maybe try to like get into someone else's mind so I can ascertain like from a sideways mm-hmm. view. Did, did did we see see Eduardo staring her down and then she got up from the table and left? I mean, was that pretty obvious to everyone? No, it was, it was very subtle. Um, okay. And Sol, as you enter the bathroom, um, do you try to do your business? Or are you just trying to compose yourself? Um, probably, well, let's see, yeah, seven. So probably like turn on the water, look into the mirror. Mirror might be a bit scary because they are sometimes. And um, splash, splash around in the water the water is grounding maybe look outside is there a window in the bathroom yeah maybe look outside the trees uh then go to the restroom and uh come back to the table cool. so uh as you are, are looking at yourself in the mirror you do see eduardo behind you um a hand kind of hovering above your shoulder What what are what are you doing, Eduardo? Do you need to use the restroom? Are you physically there? Sorry, or are you like? Looks like he's there. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm gonna jump and ask if he needs to use the restroom. I, I'm almost done. You can. I'm, I'm leaving. Is everything okay? Eduardo? (laughs) 
And he opens the door and walks out. Okay. For those at the table, Eduardo's still there. He never left. Okay. Mm. Um, hoking at his Caesar salad. Um, a little smile on his face. So, Eduardo, um, your mother is sick. She couldn't join us tonight, but uh, I think she's very happy that you're back here, but uh, you kind of broke my heart. Uh, I hope that uh, now that you're here, you will have some time to think about the things that you've done and said the last time we talked. And uh, I think there's a lot to catch up on. And I take another drink of my whiskey. Uh, that's fair, Papa. I'll, I'll think about it. Um, I am eager for the opportunity to be a family again. Well, we'll see about that. And uh, what are your intentions to, uh, now that you're here, what do you intend to do? Do you, Are you finally going to? I finally got to get a, a job and make some money. I have been doing that, but I will apply for a job, uh, get an apartment for life. Sounds good. It does, doesn't it? Mm, meanwhile, maybe I'm I'm uh, at the kitchen and I'm pouring myself some wine because I feel a little bit uh, distressed to see Sol this way. So I'm feeling a little bit dizzy, but uh, I'm going back to the, the main room where um, everyone else is. So uh, how about how about some dessert? How about some dessert? Uh, Novia, what do we have for dessert? Oh, well, actually, uh, we have a lot of dishes still to, to taste. Uh, we, but we have now uh, lemon sorbet. Maybe uh, you would oh, like. Oh, I, I hate that stuff. I hate that stuff. I, I thought you were going to make some, some, some cake. Uh, uh, I'm looking you... forward to it. I think it would be nice. Novia. Why can't we have real ice cream? Lemon uh, sorbet is yours? good. You just just give it a try. Oh, but uh, you don't really want to taste a pollo de coco. Uh, you don't really want to taste some beef. It's uh, it's really fine. You should taste it. Uh, okay, but the next time you, you said you were going to do the, the Napoleon cake, and I, I was expecting that. So next time, just make the cake. I hate sorbet. I hate sorbet. Oh, but don't worry, because we have a pudding f uh, for the end, so maybe you should uh, wait a bit and you will see how it tastes it's good. But okay. of course, we should eat first the, the meat, which is delicious. Mm. All right. I guess so. Okay, so I guess we skip now the lemon sorbet and we are going. I'm going to start serving uh, uh, the pollo de coco. Well, I wanted the lemon sorbet. I wanted the sorbet. Nobody cares. Yeah. Shut okay. up, kids. Okay. Yeah. Hey, no, 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 don't family. pick on, don't okay. pick on soul. I'm sorry, it's my fault. For yourself instead of everybody else. I'm sorry, this is my fault. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll help you, Novia, and I'll kind of like jovially tug her hair. I'll help you clear. And I'm going to take, take Soul's souls. survey in mind and all. Hey, help hey, that's, as well. that's Souls. Don't take that away from her. I think we're on the next okay, I'm going to just get up and we go We haven't take, even eaten our sorbet yet. Papa's sorbet. And while he's okay. glaring at everyone else, I'm taking a sip of whiskey. Hey, <laughs> Soul, stop that. All what? right, I throw her sorbet I down. I thought and... you said you didn't like sorbet. <clears throat> Learto, what are you doing over there? You just threw the sorbet on the table. Behave or I'm going to slap you. Fine. And I'm going to grab my sorbet and uh, the now empty mug and stalk off into the kitchen again. I swear to God, all these kids, they, they, they just don't know how to act. This is my family and nobody <clears throat> does what I say. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, it, I think it, look at Anton. 
right? That's a byproduct of you. Anton's a doctor. Well, shut up. Something that they said is a Hey, hey, don't tell Soul to shut up. Soul, do you know what you're talking about? No, no one ever tells me anything. Because you're a kid. Hey, quiet. She, Soul's she, a good she, kid. She is. She is better than you are. She is. She is a, a, a lovely child. She's very smart, and uh, she's she she is the pride of this house. So don't you harass your sister. And Papa, you've drank. I can smell the alcohol permeating this whole table. You have as much control over this situation as. I guess a stranger at a, a child's park. This is my house, and you will do what I say, and you will shut up right now. And I roll, keep it together. You're oh, you you. I think the influence would probably be more appropriate, unless you have a specific advantage. Sure, I try influence other. I try to do influence other. So I'm going to roll. I got twelve. All right, so twelve. <laughs> I get a choice. I either do what you say or I can accept a complication. He's going to give in for the moment. Okay. She nods. I continue to drink. I drink some more. And, uh, I, I brood for a while, and I'm I'm kind of smug that you've shut up for the time. Takes time to become a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> At this time, Anna uh, comes uh, from her room, uh, dressed slightly up, uh, and takes a seat, um, kind of massaging her head as she does. Uh, it's obvious she's been drinking. There's a slight kind of whiskey movement about her. Uh, she's probably a kind of a little bit on the tipsy drunk side. Novia, I like the pollo de coco. It's it's really good. I think this is this is very good. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mm, and maybe uh, uh, because I also see uh, uh, Anton, who is been uh, um, criticized so heavily. I um, come close to him and start asking him some brief questions to see if he's fine. Uh, I start smiling him more. So maybe, um, well, Anton, how is it going with the dinner? Do you, are you liking the dish? It's 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 good. It's good. And I look around because I don't want anyone else to to notice me or attack me. So I'm like, it's it's fine. You know, it's good. I'm I'm okay. Okay, so there's something else uh, I can do for you this night. No, oh, no, it's it's okay. I'm I'm good. Uh, Novia, uh, Anna, kind of. <clears throat> Novia. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Uh... <laughs> yes, <ma 'am. laughs> Yeah. Can I have wine, please. Let me get your wine, mother. I'll get your wine. Lierso, sit down. Don't move from that chair. Novia. Wine, please. No, no, mother. I'll get it for you. Lierso. I swear Eduardo, to God. You don't run this house. Who Sorry, do you that think was you are? that was Anna. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I'll just change my title. All right, right. So Anna is just walked into the room. Mother, yeah, she, she has to serve the table. And you know she always shorts your pores here. Yeah, she I'll get uh you a real glass of wine. Up. Mm. Okay, oh, so, yeah. uh, can you make sure can you get me wine and make sure that Lierso doesn't leave his table? Yes, I would pour you some wine and I will take care of Lierso. Thank you. I'm glad you're everybody us. always yelling all the time yeah. in this house. Anton, shut up. Why can't we Anna, just have I... a nice no hey? Why can't hey. we just have a nice hey. dinner? Just all the time it's like this every be time res be respectful to your mother yeah you're okay? always saying respectful that's all you care about is respectful i'm glad to see you come in to the dinner uh, anna i love you are you feeling better dear a little bit speaking of 
coming to the the table and and stuff like that. Um, it would be nice if after this maybe uh, we could actually enjoy ourselves. I know you've had some problems recently um, in the bed, uh, but I think maybe tonight uh, we should give it another go. Um, and maybe this time, maybe I actually get to finish. I uh, nicker and look at I, their twin. I just, I just drink more and say, "What are you talking about? What are you talking? About? <laughs> this is not the place or time to talk about these things." Well, if it's not here, then I don't know where else because you don't take <laughs> advice in in the bedroom. You're Mom, we don't want to hear this crap <laughs> in the living room. This is horrible. Why? Are, why do we have to listen to this? Stop. Stop. You've obviously had too much to drink. You should just stop now. Just, just go back to your bedroom, Anna. Just, just go back to your bedroom, dear. Everything is fine. This is my house too, and I, if I, if I decide I want to drink and I want to join the family, then I'm going to. You can take your drink and take it to the bedroom. I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. It's not an argument. I ask that you perform better at Please, night. Please, no, stop. We don't want to hear this. And I'm glad I, Mama came to dinner. I, uh, Thank you. I roll keep it together. <laughs> she's, not your mama. Uh, she's not your mama to soul. What? What? Ah. Uh, She's not uh, your mama. Do do I roll keep it together? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I got seven. Seven. Ooh, all right. So this is definitely a, a traumatic moment for you. Uh, very embarrassing. Things are slipping out. So minus two to your stability. <laughs> mm, mm. I I I I'm I feel very emotional right now. Um, I'm finding it hard to keep it together. I, I, I feel like I'm losing control of the situation. Um, I tell, I, I, I tell, uh, I tell soul, uh, I tell soul that, uh, uh, so, uh, soul, do you have something you have to say to Liarto? Uh, I, I don't know what he means by what he said. What, what, what do you mean? He means that, he whispering. means that your mother is uh, uh, Novia because your mother complains so much, I have to go around and do other stuff with other people. Oh, so you, you were able to get it up for Novia, but any other day it's, like we are in hell right now. This is, this is hell <laughs> no, that no, we're in. Right. Right. But at least you don't have to live here. Oh, can everybody just shut up? Four more years. How, how did you guys the University know? University of Miami. See, Eduardo, this is what you're coming home to. Uh, the, the, this, this is this is the the chaos that you you caused by coming here today. Yeah, Eduardo's just kind of poking at the <laughs> lemon sorbet. You uh, know, actually, I, I think yeah. that uh, I think that it's like this every day. Anyway, I think that at this point, I'm I'm serving the beef Wellington, but uh, <laughs> when I, when I listen uh, uh, Raphael saying this, I everything just uh, <laughs> drops dead in the floor, and I start to cry and shout and uh, and but then I I try to <laughs> keep my shit together and just uh, relax and go back to the kitchen. Well. Uh, Anna looks over to Raphael. Good job. It's another woman you've disappointed, so add that to the list. Well, Novia, I love you, and Anna, go back to bed. This is who you're siding with? You're siding with the help instead of your wife? Yes, because at least, you know, she knows how to take care of a man, and not like you. Because well, if you oh, pay hey, for it, all you can take care of is a bottle. If no, you pay let's... for it, sure, it's going to be nice to you. It's the only time any woman is nice to you. Well, let's so let's help me. not talk about this right now. Look, I'm sorry for yelling earlier. 
can we just have like a nice dinner and then talk to our talk to Eduardo? We haven't seen him for years. Yes, wonderful, beautiful Eduardo, whom I love a lot and I know is actually my son. I'm your son. I'm not talking about you, Anton. I am mother, kind of glaring mother, right please. now. I want to reach toward my mother and accidentally spill her wine glass and see if I can spill it into my mug. <laughs> what is it with this family? What is it with this family? I'm starting to get tears in my eyes. I'm starting to, to lose it. I'm drunk. I'm like, what is it with this family? Yeah, and like the, 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 the wine spills over and you're able to catch a, a, some of it into your cup. But right afterward, there is a crack as you feel a sharp pain on your cheek. Uh, Anna's hand uh, just past your face. She's obviously slapped you. I want to pick up the wine glass and smash it on the ground and stalk off into the kitchen. All right. <laughs> so goes out. Uh, Lierso, why don't you go ahead and keep it together? You were just slapped by your mama. That seems pretty traumatic. Uh, I'm probably used to it. Yeah, that's fair. It's... I down the what's left of my drink as I fight back 16. tears. How much would you get? No, no, no. 10 plus 5 plus 18. Oh, yeah. You, you're you able to keep it. It's together. happened before. Yeah, you're like, holy shit. <laughs> but it's fine. So I guess now I'm uh, coming, uh, coming back from uh, the kitchen. And... Um, I just start yelling to, to Rafael. So, Rafael, how? <laughs> I don't know how to say this. Uh, have you been able to do this to me? Uh, <laughs> I'm here working all day. You are do, you are harming your own family doing all this. Why you do this to me and why you do this to your sons or why are you, are you doing this to everyone this night? Oh, oh, it's always like this with you people. Oh my God. Oh, you guys, you guys, this, I'm, you guys drive me to despair. How I, I take care of everybody and, and this is how you repay me. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can we just have dinner? Yeah, Ed we... Eduardo kind of places a hand upon your shoulder, Raphael. You don't have to apologize, Dad. Mm. All right. This isn't on you, this is on them. Everybody's such a huge disappointment. Everybody's such a huge disappointment. Exactly. And it's not your fault. You've done everything to provide for these people. I'm going to uh, try to whisper to Saul, I'm going to get you out of here. This is horrible. You shouldn't be seeing this. I don't know what's going on, um, but it probably would be a good idea for me to try to figure out what's going on with Novia since I just found out that Novia is my mother. And even yeah, though, why don't you go ahead and keep it Anna together? Let's. Uh, I'm just uh, puffing away a giant cloud of smoke <laughs> around me. So um, let's see. I have 13. Uh, do I have to add anything to that? Willpower. Oh, uh, oh 14 then. 14. All right, cool. Uh, so you can take a minus one to your stability. And what are you feeling? Um, obviously intense confusion, um, uneasy, yeah, uneasy, uneasiness. Yeah. Um, okay. I don't know what all this talk about bed stuff, bedroom things are, no clue. <laughs> um, I just know that it makes Anton uncomfortable and Novia is sad and Papa is freaking out. So maybe um, Sol and Anton are still in the room, right? So, or or they went away. Yeah, I no, think. Yeah, only Lierso oh, yeah. has kind of stalked off to the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. So maybe. Well, I um, I decide to uh, address directly Rafael, and uh, I start shouting to him, and I say, uh, "How." Uh, how you do this to me. You stole uh, my daughter from me. 
and now you are in this house with this big mess and this is a disaster this is a terrible night i will never for, uh, forgive you this i did uh, not steal anybody from you i've i'm keeping you here in my house and uh our, our daughter was with us and uh I'm, I'm not, uh, you know, you should be more grateful. You should, you should, uh, you should shut up. And I try to influence her. But uh, don't you think that uh, I, I've been uh, uh, serving you for so long and uh, I think you should be the one to be grateful because I've been serving uh, you for so long and uh, you have been, you have uh, been doing uh, whatever you want uh, with me, so uh, you should not do this to me. Uh, you should not treat everyone like you do. I think this should end this night. You would be homeless if it wasn't for me. Well, maybe I've been uh, living in, indig in indignity for so long, but this is gonna end now. I think yeah. I'm going to take Saul with me this night. You're, you not see, going, you're not going anywhere. You're staying right here. Anna is crying, uh, and she's also <laughs> taking your good whiskey. Uh, Raphael kind of has it right on her, right, right next to her plate. Uh, Anton, this seems pretty stressful, so I'm going to poke yeah. your uh, disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. And while all this is going on, I'm going to use their argument as a just a way to sneak out of the room and go to the kitchen. I, uh, I, I try to influence, uh, I try to influence Novia to, right. to shut up and accept the fact that she's part of this family. And I say, you're a part of this family as well, whether you like it or not. And we're, we're, you're all these, all, these are all my children and this is my family. So you're not going anywhere. And I try to influence her. All right, go ahead and roll that. Uh, but we'll deal with Anton first and his okay. disadvantage. <clears throat> What'd you roll? 2d10 plus zero. Uh, eight. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, okay. So as you're looking out, you can see several of these things moving underneath everyone's skins. Um, and it kind ah! of bubbles and pops out of their skulls like uh like little beetles ripping through dirt uh climbing up into the sky the the ceiling you see these little threads almost like puppeteer threads attached to to each individual and you can kind of see these almost a red tinted cityscape just beyond um the window uh so why don't you go ahead and keep it together Roll the 2d10 plus willpower. <clears throat> so, 12. All right, you're going to take a minus one stability. Uh, what are you feeling? So, um, I think I was shaken a little while ago, so now I'm distressed, right? Yep. Or no, I, I guess yeah, you had me roll keep it together, so now I'm neurotic. Yeah, yeah, it keeps going down. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Anton's gonna lose it. What, what do I see when I look at Eduardo? Something beautiful, wondrous, and horrific all at the same time. Uh, a kind of shimmering just underneath his skin as if several things were kind of making up him almost like little bugs um, rolling up under his eyes, the popping of blood and like uh, these boils all over his body. And he's so smiling he's... at you. Okay, I close my eyes and say, Eduardo, what, you're, you're not the same as everyone else. What's happening? Why are you different from when, when we last saw you? Yeah, to everyone else, it looks like Anton's having a panic attack as Eduardo <laughs> gets up with his wine glass and says, I'd like to make a toast. 
Um, and during this time, like Anna is crying into the whiskey, uh, tears kind of falling into the plate. Um, Eduardo raises his glass. Every time you talk, you just make it worse. Nobody toasts in this house. I do the toast in this house. I do the toast. I do the toast to, 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 to everybody just shutting up and, 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 and doing what I say. Papa, can I, I finish this out? toast, please? <laughs> no, you cannot. I. This is my house, and, and and this people have to do what, what, what I say. Okay. Uh, and he'll I'm, sit I'm back down. Uh, go ahead and make your roll against uh, Novia for the charisma. Sure. So, I rolled a twelve. All right. Uh, so for, uh, Novia, you have, you get to choose one. Um, so you're either motivated, uh, with what Raphael is saying and you listen, but you get a plus one on your next roll. Um, or you're intimidated, um, and you get a minus one stability, uh, if you don't do what they want. Hmm. Well, I don't know what to do. May, well, I, uh, I I will be intimidated, I guess. All right, take that minus one stability. <clears throat> okay, so... so I'm going to slip back into the room and just kind of stand by the kitchen door al along the wall and I'll go back to the table. You just kind of watch this tableau of horror as i walk out of the room storming out i i try to kiss uh, uh novia and say it, it's all gonna be okay uh, I, I love you it's all gonna be okay and i try to roll uh can i roll influence other uh not really what are you trying to influence um i'm trying to kiss her uh i will that is up to novia okay well, uh, I guess uh, because I, I choose uh, being intimidated, I guess now I will uh, remain silent while uh, he's kissing me. Now I'm trying to, um, well, I'm not ac actively um, avoiding uh, his kiss, but uh, I will give him a, a, a glance of distress and disapproval or something like that. <laughs> I awkwardly kiss your cheek and uh, mm -hmm. as I storm out. Eduardo gets up, wine in his hand. I guess I will make my toast now. To Novia, um, whom I guess continues to be the adequate rug uh, that this family possesses to learning about things uh, that probably should have been told for a long time ago looking over at Saul to Novia <laughs> so I don't know I um well, anyway, uh, right now, who is in the room? Everyone, I think, but Raphael. Okay, so I guess, uh, well, I guess I will pour uh, everyone's uh, every, uh, everyone's glass with a little bit of uh, wine or whatever is at hand, and I will remain silent again. Yeah, you see Anna's head like slowly drift to the table uh, as she starts to pass out. I'm gonna um, <clears throat> stand up and and uh, take take, take Sol's, Sol's hand and say, Sol, Sol, we need to go. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to leave. Yeah. So I'm feeling really dizzy. It's okay. You'll feel better. You'll feel better later. Let's let's go. Let's get away from here. Yes, let's, let's get out of here. 
So when I uh, hear them saying that, I I will go to Anton and say, okay, wait, I want to I want to go with you. <laughs> or... Okay. Yeah, the moment uh, Anton, you kind of reach out to to Saul. Saul, you were dragged into the nightmare that Anton is currently still in. Uh, visages of large metropolises in the distance, threads of some sort of arachnid-like thing uh, attached to everyone's uh, elbows and face. Uh, little blood boils on top of skulls. Uh, and Eduardo is smiling at you with a very toothy grin. Anton, what's happening? Do, what? I don't know what it's, I'm seeing. I, I see this sometimes. It's okay. Just it'll it'll go away after a while. It's not real. I'm scared. Just close your eyes and don't look at it. Yeah, go ahead and keep it together, Saul. Oh, sorry. Ah. We we have to find the door to get out. That's what that's how it works. Okay. Um. So I got eighteen. Oh, you're fine. Wow. <laughs> You're able to hold it together. Maybe it's uh, Anton's she's, hand. She's better than all the adults. Yeah. <laughs> I'm outside puffing away on my cigar, swaying from side to side, trying to keep it together, you know, kind of like wiping tears off my face, enraged. Lierzo, Ramira, what are you two up to? Hey probably just finish our mugs of wine and head up to our room. Had enough of this. Trouble child. And as I, yeah, as I walk by Eduardo, I just kind of want to look at him and be like, welcome home, big brother. It looks like you fucked everything up. He smiles and I look forward to seeing you again, Lierstal. Yeah, well, that makes one of us. Have a good night. Maybe next time uh, you should turn around when you're under my bed. Maybe next time I will. Let's go, sis. Go to our room. And that leaves Novia with Saul and Anton. So uh, well, I guess that well, while um, Anton uh, is um, getting a little bit better, I will take uh, Saul to a corner and I will ask her. Uh, well, at first I will try to talk to her and say yes, Saul, everything um, that has been said is true. So uh, I was afraid to uh, tell to you. Uh, tell you this because I didn't know if it was convenient because I was here I was worried about uh, you, you being, uh, um, being in, the, in danger because uh, Raphael is not a good person and then so well, and then well and then so Do I still get to go to school and have my piano lessons? <laughs> oh, uh, well, I didn't understand. I guess, uh, yeah, uh, I will bring you to piano lessons when we get out of here and we go to a better place. Where? I don't know, but uh, we will uh, figure out. Can I get out, me away uh, from my brothers and sisters? I'll still see you. I don't want to well, move. I want to stay here with Papa. Are you sure you you really want to do this? I mean, if you stay here, they will harm you, and I don't want you to to suffer that. Well, how are we going to get rid of Eduardo? I don't like him. He's scary. There's yeah. something not right about Eduardo. So, 
as we walk to the bedroom, I kind of want, I want to talk to Ramir about this. Like, we, we have to get him out of here. There's something wrong with him. It's even worse than normal. And I think it is. I don't know what we're going to do, though. Well, somebody has to be the man in this house. And I want to, do we have like a baseball bat? Um, yeah, we're good Cubans. Yeah. Cuban expatriates, we play baseball. Excellent. Uh, grab a baseball bat and just we, walk into the living room and say, Eduardo, it's time for you to leave. So as you head on over there, I want you to avoid harm. Roll 2d10 plus your reflexes. Well, all right. You avoid the worst of it. So uh, you feel something tugging on your leg. And Ramira, you see Lierso kind of fall back and start to be kind of pulled over to Eduardo's room. Um, the door shuts uh, just as Lierso is dragged into it. Um, doesn't look like any damage is done to you, Lierso, though it is getting dark outside. Did, did um, he take the bat in with him? He did, yes. <laughs> Does it, can, can I see, see anything? anything? You know, you know tugging my leg, leg was an, an, an invisible force. force. Uh, you notice that there's handprints, uh, dark and black, almost like bruising upon your ankle. All right. Well, like the good Cuban expatriate I am, I'm going to wind up and, I guess, engage in combat. All right, go ahead. Whack at it, whatever that the space is below my leg. With, uh, yeah, you see kind of underneath the bed several, like, about ten pairs of hands just kind of wiggling just above the carpet. Okay, I just want to, like, struggle, swing the baseball bat around and try to break the grip. Excellent. Go ahead, engage in combat. I want to go find something to kind of finish where we started with Eduardo. And there's a knife in the kitchen. Knife? Okay. I got a twelve. Oh, right. Plan on stabbing them, but. <laughs> Uh, I will say, so you smash the, the fingers and you see the bone crack and break uh, a little bit of kind of like this thick red blood oozing into the carpet. Um, but several of the other hands just kind of reach out. It's length kind of longer than what you would expect of a human being uh, grabbing and clawing you. So uh, go ahead and endure injury. And the harm is two, so you're taking roll. You're rolling two d ten plus your fortitude minus two. Ten. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna say you lose something. They grab that bat, and it just kind of melts into the floor. What are you doing now? I just, so if I smash the hand, I'm just skittering back on my hands and knees and trying to get out of the room. Excellent. You can open the door. You see Ramira kind of heading away. Ramira, where are you, where are you going? going? We have to get him out of the house. I'm going to Eduardo. Come, Come with, with me, me instead. instead. Um, does, does, do, do I, I know, know if my father, father has, has like a gun in his room? Uh, yes, but it's probably locked. I would keep a gun safe. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're probably pretty good at getting into stuff we shouldn't. <laughs> right, I want to go search for it and look, you know, look around for the key, look in hiding places, see if I can get into the gun safe. Excellent. Uh, all right, so go ahead and act under pressure. This drunk 15-year-old with a gun, what can go wrong? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Like <laughs> Trouble child. 13. Excellent. <coughs> oh. 
So Mitch, I, I don't get to be any part of this anymore, right? I'm just outside the house. Oh no, you, I'm gonna drag you in here in a little bit. Don't, okay, okay. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so pressing, uh, kind of figuring out the the keys and everything to to open up the safe. Um, it's going to take you some time. So we're going to, the complication will be that you guys will be out of the scene for at least a couple of minutes, uh, Lierso and Ramira. Um, and so we'll go on over to Rafael, uh, enjoying a smoke. Uh, Monte Cristo, if you can believe it. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just pacing around outside. I'm just... I just admit it to my illegitimate child and I just, I'm drunk. I, I hear my kids are arguing inside and uh, I completely lost control of the situation. Um, so do, I, I guess I would step back into the house and observe uh, a situation. Yeah, I mean, right now you see Anton and Sol and Novia in the corner. Uh, Anton and Sol look very stressed. Novia uh, looks sad. Anna is passed out on the lemon sorbet. And Eduardo continues to enjoy his wine. So I want to walk over to Eduardo. And I want to I want to read a person. I want to do a move. All right, go ahead. Okay. So I got two. Holy crap. Ooh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, so I what just, are your intentions because you failed uh, Eduardo gets to know what your intentions are I am actually scared of Eduardo um, I want to know I want to know what he's here what he's doing here I want to know why did he come back uh, do I get to ask him a question or no 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 yeah, I, I look. I look at you. I come over to you. I want to say something, but I just. I act. I. I look scared. Um, I look like I'm. You know, step offish a little bit. I, I don't know how to approach you right now. Yeah. So go ahead and keep it together. As you're kind of looking down at him, you notice that he is holding your hand, uh, but the hand is kind of connected. It looks like the flesh has been melded. Uh, to each other uh, and you see little pulsing uh, whatever creature things that are living within this entity or your son or it's kind of moving between his hand and into your flesh I try to keep it together I'm going to roll <laughs> I got double seven, 14 alright so take a minus one stability uh, and what are you I think scared is appropriate yeah, I get scared. Minus, minus one stability. I got a, uh, what? I look up at you and I'm scared, and uh, I I say, D what's going on? He gets up from his chair and tries to embrace Papa. It's okay. I I I I I try to break through the illusion. All right, go ahead. Uh, I got four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy hell. That's not good at all. So, yeah, uh, you've gotten the attention of things that you don't want the attention of. Go ahead and uh, endure injury at a minus four. I, I I pull away from your hand and I go ah, what what are you doing, Eduardo? Why, why are you here? What's going on? Yeah, and you can kind of see like his face is almost like a Picasso painting, like slowly like moving and shifting uh, as he's looking at you. You notice that you were still connected. Your your hand is just kind of melded with him. Uh, and it seems like every time he touches you, that meld continues his bits of flesh joining with yours. Uh, so yeah, endure entry at a minus four. Who are you? You're not my son. What are you doing? Uh, so I, I, I step back. I, uh, endure injury. Okay. I'm injured. I, I stumble to the ground. I go like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. 
Uh, uh, no, you got to roll. 2d10. Okay. I got to roll. 2d10. Okay. Yeah. I got a six. Oh, crap. Okay. So this is actually something you get to choose. You can either be knocked out, you can die, or you can receive a critical wound. Hmm. <laughs> those are your that, choices. Th those are <coughs> hard choices to make. So <laughs> injury is overwhelming, huh? I'm going to bet not die. <laughs> I'm going to get knocked out. So I trip over, I'm injured, I fall down, I hit my head on the floor, and I'm out for the count. Excellent. And you guys see, like, Eduardo hovering above Raphael, bits of his flesh kind of connected and almost like this sucking sound can be heard as Raphael looks a little bit more shriveled up. So Novia, Anton, and Sol, what are you guys up to, seeing this done to the patriarch of your family? I'm gonna run over and try to kick him and knock him off of. Uh, uh, if he's is he still connected to Raphael, even though he's laying on the floor? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to kick him off. All right, go ahead, and engage in violence. Roll two d ten okay. plus your violence. Okay, violence. So, oh, that's minus two. I'm awesome. <laughs> okay, it's all so, that residency. Yeah. So and that's eight minus two is six. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh I will I will let you decide. Uh you can do oh, it, God. but it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a big cost. Yeah. Do you care about your father that much? Uh not not especially. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's fair. I drew yeah. on the floor angrily. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you smack into this thing uh, and like almost like tendrils coming out of its back uh, leeches out and kind of slices part of your uh, shoulder. So you have like these lacerations, uh, blood dripping uh. down your shoulder, but it doesn't move. You didn't really... You, you you know you could probably put more oomph into it if you were willing to sacrifice for your father, but it's not your heart's not in it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna back off and try to to uh, protect Soul. Yeah, for Soul and Novia, you guys like the doors right over there. You guys don't have to be here. You can just yeah. leave. Let, 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 let's let's get out of here. I don't know what's going on. I don't understand it. We got to go. Yeah, okay. So I think uh, 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 Anton comes to us and uh, we go through the door and uh, we can escape now. Or yeah. My uh, question is, uh, Novia, do you hold Sol's hand, who I assume is holding on to Anton's? Uh, uh, I'm holding uh, Sol's hand, you say? Yeah, are you? Uh, yes, yes. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Look, dude, d uh, I feel more comfortable around Anton because he's been my brother. So I just, I, I'm more concerned with Anton considering not, he just got injured. Yeah, uh, and not so much with your mother. I, can I just I... found out she was my mother. Or, or your father, your papa, who's <laughs> laying on the floor. <laughs> well, guys, I can didn't I... get dessert, okay? I was promised bread pudding. <laughs> I didn't get dessert. True. There's a True. lesson here that's food. supposed yes. to be learned. Get bread pudding. <laughs> exactly. Never even got that far. Yeah. Can I try uh, a move? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, what are you thinking? Uh, I want to influence uh, Sol. Uh, to combine her that uh, I'm the right person to hold hands. All right. What are you? What are you saying to your daughter who now recognizes you somewhat as her mother, though she does seem more occupied with her brother and her father than of you? Uh, well, I guess I could say. Um, well, I uh, I know you since you are. Uh, small child, I know everything about you, you can trust me, and uh, you can uh, uh, you can be sure that 
I am the person in this house who cares more about you. And uh, uh, maybe you are afraid now of me, but uh, uh, I uh, promise you that I will bring uh, you with me and you will be safe and you will be safe. And uh, we will be talking about this situation for a long time. So don't worry now. I don't know why I should believe you because you let me believe that this family was my family and you've known this whole time you were my mother and never bothered to say anything. I, I, you know what? Let's talk about this outside. Let's go out outside, <laughs> away from this horrible stuff that's happening. Let's let's just let we'll go out the door. I'm gonna try to drag them. Yeah. If so I'll to. I'll let uh, Novia go ahead and and try uh, influence other role to see what can okay. come of it. Okay. So uh, um, I two d ten plus your charisma. The two. Okay. Okay. So it's uh, ooh three plus three six. <laughs> yeah. So it goes to about as well as. Uh, <laughs> you would think um <laughs> there uh as as you see like your your daughter shaking her head and moving away from you there is a almost distance that you can feel emotionally being created there um instead of the warm uh hand of your daughter looking down at your hand you see a noose Uh-huh. Like a hangman's noose. Okay, okay, okay. So... Uh... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, so... Uh... Well, I, I don't know what, what I'm supposed to do now. Uh... <laughs> Keep it together. Yeah. That would be a good one. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay, yeah. I... <laughs> well, I, I remember paralyzed uh, because I don't know what to do. <laughs> Yeah, all right, go ahead, roll 2d10 plus your willpower. Let's see what happens. <laughs> What'd you get, Raul? Oh, sorry, I, I thought that someone else was going to. Oh, no, <laughs> you, you go ahead, 2d10 plus your willpower. Uh, uh so, so i'm supposed to throw the dice again or mm -hmm. yeah okay um 13. 13. all right um i mean i feel like sad's an appropriate feeling uh minus one stability not knowing exactly what to do as uh anton Saul, are you guys just heading for the door yeah, I'm. Dra I'm gonna drag yeah, them yeah. if I have to. If I Nobody was passed out on the ground, I would have been yeah, running out the door. <clears throat> we need to get to at least another room to uh, recollect ourselves because Eduardo is obviously very powerful with whatever, whatever's going on with him. He's got a lot of it. <laughs> In horror movies, people run up the stairs, <laughs> even if there isn't a second floor. I just yeah. kind of imagine it'd be like a hacienda style house. I don't know. This was what I've been imagining in my head. Mm -hmm. Probably not mm -hmm. a second floor, but maybe like to a courtyard. Yeah, you guys can go to the back with the pool and such. Okay, and then um, Anton, did you know that Novia was my mother? N uh, no. No, I, I, well, no, I didn't. <laughs> I think I don't know. Did I? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, no. <laughs> you probably suspected though. Yeah. No, I nobody nobody told me anything. <clears throat> I mean, you guys know that I'm. You know, I, I keep like harassing Novio all the time and stuff. Yeah, and kind of out in the courtyard, uh, the pool is kind of this black, murky water, and you can see these very tall buildings in the distance reaching up to a very darkened and cloudy sky, um, a visage you're not used to seeing back here on the porch or the courtyard. When I see things like this, the best thing to do is there's a, always a door to get out. We've got to find the door to get out.
Do you want to make a move? Okay, so. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try to try to see if I can find a way out of this uh, out of this illusion. Excellent. Go ahead and try to pierce it. All right. So that is. So you're doing a see through the illusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Plus soul. And then, is there a negative or anything on that? Because I'm injured or because I'm stressed? Uh, let's see. Together. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, wow. Okay. Um, four. <laughs> <laughs> That's total is four. Yeah. Yeah. There is I... a door that you can see. Um, it's kind of off to the side, onto your own house. It has a particular quality that makes you think that it might be the door was kind of like these flesh carved runes uh, on this door that is made of flesh kind of pulsing a little bone uh, mm -hmm. door knob. Um, there's almost, it looks somewhat familiar uh, to you, uh, but hey, this might be it. All right. Um, what, that, maybe that's the door there. Let's go. Let's take that so we can get out of this horrible nightmare. Excellent. Okay. Go to the door. Yeah, you, oh, you you kind of go to the door and you see like there's these almost like uh, crosshair stitches in the center of it going down almost like something you have to pull apart hmm. uh, in order to get past it. Okay, I'll, I'll pull those apart. Okay, well, I guess I'll help because you have an injury. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Is everybody seeing this or just Anton? Uh, just Anton and Sol. Yeah, uh, I think... Novia currently has a is contemplating suicide. And yeah, Novia is contemplating suicide. Are like yeah. in a completely different part of the house. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Uh, so Novia, uh, I want you to endure injury at a minus three. Really? Uh, endure endure injury. Uh -huh. Yeah. So two d ten okay. plus your fortitude minus three. Roll. Roll it. So, okay. So I will roll the dice now. 13. Not bad. All right. Uh, you get a serious wound as you feel kind of this um, itching and then burst of pain in your back. Um Soul and uh, Anton, you guys are back in the dining room. That little thing you opened up was actually Novia's back. So you kind of see this this wound. Oh. Uh, Anton, your fingers are kind of in her back, pulling back the, the skin, opening up to kind of that spinal column with bits of flesh and blood. Ah, out, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, my Novia's God. Back. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you look like the... Uh... The whatever sort of revenant it was that sat down on the bed uh, with uh, Learco trapped underneath. But yeah, yeah. Uh, coming next, we've got our Halloween surprise episode, and we're still keep kind of keeping that one under wraps for right now until we get everything planned out. I'm so excited about that. It's going to be so cool. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. It's a return of a guest that we had before, but it's going to be yeah. so awesome. You guys are going to love it. Yeah, I'm excited about that. And of course, Cult Divinity Lost Part 3, so we'll have a final part. Uh, and then our A to Z commentaries. G is for Grim Tales. We'll be doing Edward Scissorhands commentary. And H yep. is for Har Harlequinade or Harlequinade. I don't know how you say that. Uh, I, killer, killer Clowns you, from Outer Space. I would, I would probably rhyme it with Harlequinade. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Um, I like Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I have the DVD. Actually, Sarah's dad gave her the DVD. Oh, so, really? Yeah, yeah. And was it like I've a, a gag gift or something, or does he like horror movies? I, you know, I think he likes horror movies. Um, okay. I saw this movie on TV, like, maybe 20 years ago, something like that. And I was like, what is this? It's like, yeah. this is weird. It's like clowns turning people into cotton candy. Huh. I'm not sure how I feel <laughs> I about know. this. I, I, uh, I. Yeah, it's I watched it 
when when we did the when we were covering the A to Z of horror, I watched Killer Clowns from Outer Space for the first time then. So it was only like a year ago, two years ago, maybe I watched it. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. I've seen this like maybe like I don't know when the movie is from, but I've seen it like definitely over 10, 15 years ago. Uh, okay. So maybe even 20 years ago. I don't know when when I saw it. I saw it on TV in Portugal. And all I remember is that there's a scene where there's a guy teasing a clown and the clown just pow, like yeah. punches his daylights out and punches his head out. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of like a Friday the 13th mo- moment <laughs> when the, the monster just punches someone's head off. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, right. holy crap, I got to watch the rest of this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, and this podcast, having no beginning, will have no end. You can find the show notes for this episode and join the discussion over at www.clivebarkercast.com. We've got an archive of past episodes, news, features, and reviews, along with all the ways you can connect with us. You can subscribe on every other place you can find podcasts. Share your thoughts with us and share our podcast with your friends. The Clive Barker Podcast, or BarkerCast, is an independent editorial podcast and news blog that's not affiliated with or under contract by Clive Barker or Seraphim Inc. This is a labor of love by the fans for the fans. Thanks for listening.